All right, guys, I have the Nano S3 all plugged in. So as you can see, I'm going to be using this tiny little one cell, 150 milliamp hour batteries. So the tiny, just one cell stick battery. So yeah, I'm going to be flying on normal mode and then I'll be going through all the other modes. Okay, so this is normal mode. With normal mode, you're going to get your stability. So that means your authority and your bank and pitch is going to be extremely li limited. So as you can see, I'm banking, I'm banking, but I can't do anything special, right? Because safe is limiting me from doing a full turn. Same thing for forward and backward, forward, backward. That's all, that's all you can do. See if I can do a circle. Fighting the wind over here, as you can see. So this is full forward. It's very hard to do a circle on safe. Okay. Now, let me show you what the second mode does. Okay, so this is basically idle up one. As you can hear, it has a much higher head speed. And you're still gonna get your stability. So you're gonna get your forward, your backward, left, right. But this time we're gonna get much more authority over your turning. But you're still not gonna be able to do a full turn. So as you can see, I'm turning, I'm turning. No full turns. All right, now for the final mode, I love to switch it on when I get closer. Okay, I'm switching it on. Okay, I love to. You're gonna have 100% head speed and you're gonna have no stability whatsoever. So, as you can see, I'm turning, but I can do a full turn. I actually prefer Idle Up 2. It's a lot more stable. And you can see it kind of like drifting away a little bit. This is hands off. And you can see it kind of like going like this, that type of motion. That's the wind. We have a slight breeze today. But uh, if I get it closer, this is complete hands off. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and do a circle. So much easier to do a circle with Idle Up 2. All right, gonna go in for a landing. Let me switch back to normal mode. All right, you can see that difference in head speed. All right, gonna go in for a quick landing. All right, so that was my maiden flight on the Blade Nano S3. She flew very well for my maiden. I was able to go through stability mode where I explained the pitch authority and how it's gonna stabilize out your model. And I went over at Up one where you get higher head speed, but it's still stabilized. You're not able to do a full turn. And I also went into Idle Up 2 where I was able to do a full circle and I was able to explain how there's no stability on Idle Up 2 and the 100% head speed. Now that I'm more familiar with the model, let's go in for a second flight. Same pack, same everything, but let's see what I can do with the model on Idle Up 2. All right, guys, I have the Nano S3 plugged in for a second flight. As you can see here, I have the same type of one cell 150 stick battery. So yeah, let's go and fly. Gonna take it on normal mode. All 
All right. Switching to I'd love to. Let me just try and do some tiny circles. It's too far. Let's do some nose in. Yeah. She's really stable. The only times you can see a drift are from either the wind because we do have a slight breeze today and the little vibrations from the helicopter I can show you guys the helicopter right there you can see she looks really cool Sometimes the tail likes to vibrate a lot. Alright. Let me see if I can try and flip this thing. I'm gonna go fairly high. That should be good. Okay. Would you look at that? How do I flip it back? Hold on. I need a little sign that says student pilot for helicopters. But even a, a beginner like me could flip this, so. Nice. I have a minute left, so let me see if I can go in for a second flip. Try and get it inverted, and then I'm going to land, because this thing definitely likes to eat up battery. Try and bring it closer to you guys. Hold on. I have to flip it back. Alright, I'm gonna land it. Gonna switch it back to normal mode. You can see different head speed. And just go in for landing. Alright, so that was my second fly on the Blade Nano S3. I was able to do some simple circuits uh, over here and I was also able to flip it twice. Uh, the first flip was actually pretty good, the second flip was absolutely terrible. But uh, yeah, she flies very well. Uh, I will say this uh, helicopter drains a lot of battery really quickly because of the new motor that Blade has implemented into it. But yeah, thanks for tuning to John's RC. And if you're new to this channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys, I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, it's John here. I hope you enjoyed my flight on the Blade Nano S3. It was a very nice flying helicopter. And I wanted to fly on Real Flight 9.5 so I could show you how I prepare myself for these helicopter type videos and what I can do to train myself a bit more. So I launched myself into Real Flight 9.5S and you can see that there's a bunch of helicopters here that you can choose from. Now, there's nothing quite like the Blade Nano S3 on here, but there is the Blade Fusion 270, and I feel like that's the closest you can get to something like this. Of course, it's very, very large. It's, uh, the, the Nano S3 is very small, but I mean, it's got, it, it kind of remotely represents the Blade Nano S3. So I'm just loaded in, and you can see on my top right, 
I have my nav guides. This will represent airspeed, altitude, battery remaining. You got the technical specif specifications. So you have my frames per second, and then back to the simulation. You got your rotor RPM, your RPM, and your wind. Now, something to note on the Blade Fusion line on real flight, taking off is very buggy. Um, you can see this, like, man. Okay. But once it's in the air, it's basically a cakewalk. Now while we're still on the topic of the Blade Nano, let me just quickly read out its specifications for you. It's got a length of 200mm, it has a height of 79mm, and it's got a main rotor diameter of 197mm with a tail rotor diameter of 40mm. And it is a very light model. Uh, it has a flying weight of 32 grams with a one cell, like, simple stick of battery inside. It's a very light model, very light machine. And you know, Real Flight is a very realistic simulator. Like, sometimes when you want to learn, like, these maneuvers like maybe if you're flying a plane you want to learn the rolling harrier or you want to learn tiktoks on the helicopter you can do it a lot on the simulator and will not have to worry about you know like crashing real life because you got the restart button unfortunately we can't get a restart button in real life but you know real flight can't simulate everything uh, you can do some maneuvers in real flight that you want to learn, but sometimes you just can't do it in real life because uh, real flight doesn't have the fear factor. Unfortunately, real flight cannot simulate the fear that you get when you're trying to do it in real life. He's super nice at the did though. I'll be a bit scary. You can see I'm just flying around. Messing around a bit. I'm still learning helicopters with collective, but it's very fun. Very, very fun. hover right in front of me. I feel like this simulator would be a tad bit more realistic if you had the VR headset because ReFly does support it. You can use a VR headset on this. I'm trying to do a rainbow. I'm very good at it. It's actually already. I'll actually say, go ahead and say that the 270 feels a bit nicer to fly than the Nano S3, simply because of the characteristics. I mean, it's a bigger model. And the collective is a bit better than the one cell brush motor. But you know. Can't go too hard on the one cell. It is nice being able to fly indoors. This is a very fun to fly helicopter.
okay, you know, that's part of the hobby, but fortunately, we get a restart button on real flight. But uh, yeah, that's it for my real flight demonstration. So uh, see you in the next video. And if you're new to this channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.